Number 1. Musquetas are small, flying insects that are known for their itchy, painful bites. They are found all over the world and are known for spreading a variety of diseases, including malaria, dengue, and zatka. Musquetas are attracted to the carbon dioxide and other compounds that people and animals exhale, as well as body heat in certain scents. They can breed in standing water, such as in puddles, ponds, and swamps. To avoid musquetas, people can use insect repellent, wear long sleeves and pants, and stay indoors during peak biting times, typically at dawn and dusk. The second one is Africanized honeybees. Also known as killer bees, are a hybrid of the European honeybee and the African honeybee. They are highly aggressive and can chase people for long distances, making them dangerous to humans. They are known for their fast reproductive rate and their ability to quickly colonize new areas. They are also able to survive in a wide range of climates and habitats, which makes them hard to control. They first appeared in South America in the Acnaipachumnus and have since spread to many parts of North and Central America. To avoid Africanized honeybees, people should avoid disturbing bees and should wear protective clothing if they must be around them. It is important to seek medical attention if stung multiple times or if experiencing severe symptoms after a bee sting. Now kissing bugs. Kissing bugs, also known as Kananos bugs, or assassin bugs, are a type of insect that are found primarily in the southern and western United States, as well as in parts of South and Central America. They are called kissing bugs because they are known to bite people around the mouth and ease while they sleep. They can spread Chagas disease, which can lead to serious health complications, such as heart and gut problems. The disease is caused by a parasite that the bugs can transmit through their bites or through their faces. To avoid kissing bugs, people should take steps to seal their homes and eliminate potential bug hiding spots, such as piles of wood or debris. It's important to seek medical attention if experiencing severe symptoms after a bug bite or if suspecting having Chagas disease. After that, Asian gen hornets, also known as Yakila hornets, are a species of hornet native to Asia, particularly in the countries of Japan, China, and Korea. They are known for their large size and aggressive behavior, as well as their venomous sting, which can deliver a painful sting and their venom can cause anaphylaxis in some individuals. They are also known for their ability to kill large numbers of honeybees and can cause significant damage to honeybee colonies. They are not native to North America but in recent years, a few isolated sightings were reported in this in Canada. To avoid Asian gen hornets, people should take precautions when working or spending time in areas where they are known to be present, such as wearing protective clothing, and avoid disturbing their nests. If stung, it is important to seek medical attention if experiencing severe symptoms. The very dangerous one is. Yellow jackets are a type of social wasp found in North America and other parts of the world. They are known for their bright yellow and black striped markings and for their aggressive behavior, particularly when their nests are disturbed. They are attracted to sweet and sugary substances, so they are commonly found around picnics and outdoor eating areas. Their venomous sting can be quite painful and can cause an allergic reaction in some individuals. To avoid yellow jackets, it is important to be aware of their nesting sites, such as in the ground, hall trees or wall voids, and to take precautions to avoid disturbing their nests. Keeping food and sugary drinks covered and disposing of food scraps properly can also help to reduce the risk of yellow jacket stings. If stung, it is important to seek medical attention if experiencing severe symptoms. The danger is another. Brown and yellow recluse spiders, also known as violent spiders, are venomous spiders found primarily in the central and southern United States. They are known for their brown color and the violent shape marking on their head. They are reclusive by nature and typically stay hiding in dark, undisturbed areas such as basements, attics, and closets. They can bite humans when they accidentally come into contact with them, but bites are rare. Their venom can cause necrosis, which is the death of the tissue surrounding the bite. Symptoms can vary depending on the severity of the bite, but can include severe pain, redness, and itching at the bite site, as well as fever, chills, and nausea. To avoid brown recluse spiders, it's important to keep your home and surrounding area clean and free of clutter, and to be cautious when 